Hello, 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 and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, we are at the end of the Zodiac year. We are in Pisces season, and this is where the new moon is. Oh my goodness, for March 13th. So let's see what is going on as you guys begin to set your intentions. I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited that first of all, we are getting through this year. I'm so excited that, uh, I've, you know, all the comments you all leave, and I can tell that a lot of you all are really starting to set your intentions, and you're seeing that uh, things are manifesting for you. You have to really be intentional. Now, this is just a mini reading, just a mini reading, just to give you an idea of what energies are coming up, um, so you'll know where to set your intentions, where you need to hone in, okay? Um, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign, so keep that in mind. Um, do keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Okay? And hello to our cross-watchers. Now, we're slating this for this new moon, but time is fluid. Okay? I must say that. So you might hear something that happened months ago, something that's going on right now, something that's coming in, in the near future. So do keep that at my, in mind. You guys, follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555 and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I cannot stress that enough. I go live, but I don't have a specific time I go live. And when I go live, you get the opportunity to ask any questions that you like. Um, join our Patreon. For our Patreon, you get the opportunity to see all of the extended and I'm telling you, they are well worth it. And don't forget, I do private readings as well, okay? Now, if you want to know more about what to expect in this Pisces season, just let your uh, reading play a little further, and I'll put that at the end of your reading so you'll get an idea what to expect during this uh, new moon in Pisces, okay? Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Libras. Okay, you guys, you guys came in seven for my last new moon reading. So you're reading the seven, and let's jump right into it. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 13th, 2021. Okay, we got a flipper there. Okay, spirit, divine, and the universe of messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 13th. Oh, wow. You are not messing around. Your cards are coming out quite fast. All right, Holy Spirit, divine, and the universe of messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 13th. 2021. Okay, we got four that are not going back down. So we will take all of those. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra. And I think we're going to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 13th, 2021. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? What does Libra need to know? Wow. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on? Well, there it is. All right, my Libras, let's see. First card, ooh, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, so you are codependent on someone, or someone is codependent on you. Um, someone, I feel, I feel an energy of someone just pulling too much on, on someone, pulling your energy, just really pulling. If you come in the door with positive energy, you're leaving with negative energy. I feel like this is how codependent this person is. Like, they, they... It's like, I feel like someone's being used. That's how I feel. I'm feeling like a used spirit. Uh, waves of prosperity, new abundance, and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So what does this mean? Because if you look at these cards, they're conflicting. Whoever this is that's codependent on you, they're leaning on you for their prosperity. Okay, so that's what I was saying. Someone's being used. Okay, and I, I mean, clearly, someone is truly being used. And it could be you. 
okay? Or you could be the user, but someone's leaning on someone else toward their prosperity. You're needing to have confidence. Why? Because you're needing to kind of break, you're going to need to break out of this cycle, but you're going to have to be strong in doing it. You're going to have to have confidence and know that you're making the right decision for yourself, okay? And if this is not you, it's for the cross watcher, okay? Write, your, write about your thoughts and feelings. Yeah, write them down. So strategically, you know what moves that you need to make. Okay, you know what you need to do and have confidence in doing it. Focus upon divine and perfect health. So some of you have been having health challenges. In order, you got to break all of this because all of this kind of plays into each other, believe it or not. You know, if you have negative energy around you, it will begin to impact your health. Okay, so you need to focus on making sure you're doing what you need to do to be in divine and perfect health. Making sure you're exercising, drinking your water, taking your vitamins, doing, going to the doctors. You need to make sure that you're doing all of that. And you're going to need to do that for this new beginning and fresh start. Yes, yeah, you're needing to leave someone behind that is codependent on you or you are codependent on someone. Okay, whatever which way this energy is um, uh, meshing. And for some of you, you're a daughter. Okay, so someone, even as a daughter, someone's leaning on you too much, and I feel like it's unfair. This is not going to resonate with some, uh, most of you, okay, because uh, sometimes one person is able to get through a message, so you'll know this message is for you, or you could have a daughter, or something in regards to a daughter, okay? The answer to your question involves your daughter, okay? So for some of you, you already know that this is about you, but something about this daughter situation. You're needing to really be yourself. Tell the truth. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. You need to tell the truth. You really need to tell this person how you feel. Okay, you, you're going to, or somebody needs to tell you how they feel. Okay, for this daughter situation, I feel like somebody is a daughter or you're a daughter of someone that may be take, being taken advantage of. This daughter is very significant. Uh, yeah, see, you need to take action. You, you just can't make this stuff up. You're needing to take action and handle this situation like now. Like now, okay? It's because someone's truly being used here. In fact, that's what I'm going to title this message. Someone is truly being used here. All right, Libras, if you want to do a private message, uh, private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye. All right, you guys, just a little bit about this new moon in Pisces. With the new moon being in Pisces, this is going to help your dreams become real. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because you're about to get a million amazing ideas with this new moon being in um, Pisces. Um, the One of the best parts of spring is a sense of like renewal. You know, renewal is in the air. You can kind of feel it. And during Pisces season, it's easy to get lost in kind of like a daydream state. Uh, but try not to get too ahead of yourself, okay? You're still in the process of awakening, you know, from this winter uh, slumber that we've been in and coming out of winter, coming out of hibernation. Uh, but the good news is, like, right now, all of the planets are direct, yes, which means you don't have to worry about any retrogrades right now. In fact, the energy is all about charging charging forward like like the chariot tarot card you know how it's charging forward so with the new moon in pisces which is march 13th your desire is to manifest will uh will be at an all-time high for you so do keep that in mind um these energies are very exhilarating um for us to again plan 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 and make dreams come true manifest 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 so as the final sign of the zodiac, Pisces has like an elder energy that encourages us to kind of think outside of the box, okay? So stay aware of how, you know, you affect those around you and focus on, you know, being, you know, as good as you can. Focus on trying to do the right thing, trying to do it from a perspective of an elder, okay? Um, so right now, the sun and the moon are in Pisces, and they are on your side. So during this new moon, you can will all of your dreams into existence. And, you know, as long as you can also remain patient. So patience is a virtue right now. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.